This secluded pink lake is America's best kept secret. Can you guess where it is? I'm Morgan, Chris, Jonah and Jude. We ditched the nine to five to spend more time with each other after years of missing out. We're exploring every state in the U.S., creating experiences that bring us closer together the further we step outside of our comfort zones. Where are we now? Hi, Hi Explorers. Greetings from Utah. We are back in Utah and on a mission. Since we took off, we put together a bucket list of things that we really, really wanted to see while we traveled the United States. And at the very top of mind, all categories combined, was seeing a pink lake because it's a hidden gem. And I don't even know if it's real. It was so crazy. I reached out to tons of people on Instagram and YouTube that have said they've been there. Some people said, it was orange, some people said that it was red, some people said that it was just blue, and it was all a hoax. And I just wanted to see it for myself and see if it actually was pink. So we saved a very special occasion to solve the mystery. Happy birthday, Juno. Uh, how does it feel being seven? <laughs> Do you feel any different? Mm, a little bit taller than I was before. Is your happy birthday, Elizabeth? Oh, you want it? She <laughs> picked that out all by himself. It's a hunky It's a kid's ear. Thank you, dude. My friend. Oh. Happy birthday. Open here to get my pencil out. And then I write about what I see outside. Oh, field notes? The rumored Pink Lake is actually part of the Great Salt Lake. And it's not part of a national park or a state park. It's in a very remote location. You feel like you're trespassing, but you're not. You definitely feel like you're trespassing. <laughs> and we had to just punch it into our GPS and cross our fingers and hope that we would get there. No road marking. There are a few things you're gonna to need to bring to the lake. Number one, lots of water. That kind of seems redundant. You go into a lake, but trust me on this one, you will need it. You're gonna need lots of snacks, and you're probably gonna need some toilet paper. There's nothing there. Where are you gonna go? <laughs> Areas where you can actually go to see the rumored pink lake. We picked one near something called a spiral jetty, which is a land sculpture. Really cool because there's a lot of beachfront where the kids can just run around. Behind you is a spiral jetty. You see it? Spiral jetty forms a 1500 foot long, 15 foot wide, counterclockwise coil. vibrant pink, far <laughs> brighter than we thought. And the reason for this is because some of the only things that can actually live with all that high salt content are algae and bacteria that just happen to be pink. And now that we solved this mystery, we had another question. With all that salt in the lake, could we float? Don't eat it, but it's actually salt. No, 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 don't actually eat it. The smell <laughs> is a bit stinky, isn't it? Peaceful. 
any salt for the radio. I don't... Oh my god, you're floating! <laughs> Salty that my GoPro is getting too salty to even see the images of it. <laughs> <laughs> adventures ever. I think because there was so much mystery surrounding it and we got to solve it and it was amazing and epic and we've just been anticipating the trip for so long. When we were in southern Utah I had wanted to go so badly so I'm so glad that we got to make it right. Take it off the list. Take it off the list. And it's so cool because I will always remember exactly where we were for Jonah's seventh birthday. Yeah it was amazing and Jonah happy birthday. We love you so much seriously. You're just growing up so quickly right before our eyes. Into just... the best kid ever with the biggest heart and the sweetest nature. And we just love you so much. And join us next week because you are really going to dig it. We'll see you then. Cheers. Um, she had one Baby. Dose of meal. She had Jonah. Say hi, Jonah. Say hello. I gotta say, 